Hey everybody, Paul here and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. This is the channel where we travel all over the country, eat at a lot of really cool places, and bring reviews to you. Today we're in Claremont, Florida. It's right by Orlando, so if you're here doing the whole theme park thing, it's really easy to come over here and check out the Friar Tuck. It's supposedly legit English food, but we're gonna go inside and find out. Let's go. Walking into this restaurant is a big place and it's a lot of fun. A ton of woodwork and just everywhere you look, it has English charm, decor. It's a really fun. Even everyone that I've talked to that works here has an English accent. The menu here is really good. And we would love to try about half of these sandwiches on here, but we came tonight for the fish and chips. So not to ruin the surprise, but um, this is what they're famous for. We're gonna try it. Um, and we're really looking forward to it. As far as something to drink, they have an awesome list of draft beers here. Things from Ireland, England, Germany. Mine happens to be Carlsberg from Denmark. Let's give it a taste. That is a nice lager. It's light, um, but it has enough flavor that it's not like drinking, you know, an American Bud Light or something. It's really good, but it's not bitter at all. My turn. I got a Smithwick's. It's a dark beer, but it's a lager. Ah, they sell them in 16s and 20s. And I'm assuming it's a proper pint, but I didn't ask. I think a proper pint may even be a little bit more than an American pint, but I don't know. Anyway, beer is delicious. You know, we came this evening dinner time. Funny thing is, this is our second time here. The last time we came here was a couple days ago. We wanted to bring you guys in here for a proper English breakfast, which I ordered. And it had bangers and eggs and black pudding and just all the stuff you would get in a proper English breakfast. Problem is, we got a new camera recently. We're still trying to figure it out. So when I got home, started to do my editing. Um, the picture sucked. It was not never in focus. And so we figured then we'd have to come back because we were so impressed with this place, right? So we wanted to bring you with us. So uh, anyway, let's see what we ordered for dinner. One of the cool things about this place is it has a marketplace attached that sells like British items, candy. It's like a, it's like a convenience store full of things from, you know, England, UK, whatever. Our appetizer just arrived and this was one of the reasons why we really wanted to come here. They have scotch eggs. Do you know what scotch eggs are? It's a hard boiled egg, like wrapped in sausage and then deep fried in like a panko. You know what? I just gotta show it to you. Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's, it's got that, that fried finish on it. But you can see the sausage right there. And I don't know what kind of dip this is. Yeah, it's like a mayonnaise dip. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dip that in there. Oh, let's eat this. So excited. Here we go. <laughs> That's why I wanna eat every egg from this point on in my life. <laughs> Just like that. And I'm sure it's terrible for me. I'm sure that if I ate like eggs like that all the time, I'm gonna be this big fat dude, but I'm gonna be happy getting there because you just took, I'm gonna dip it again and here you go. We got it over my face. Mmm, so good. Look at that. Mm. Okay, I know I can be like the Simon Cow on our channel, but this is, I have the great fall. This is really spectacular. Um, side note, I started like doing the point counting for like a Weight Watchers program. So this is gonna like eat up all the points for today. Tomorrow probably likely too. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. Mm. 
that sauce is awesome. The main event just arrived and it deserves a proper introduction because this is the biggest portion of fish and chips I have personally ever seen in my entire life. Check this out. Hello. All right. Now they told us that we should plan on sharing and I'm so glad they were honest about that. This is more food. I mean, I mean, I suppose you might be sitting there going, it's fish, I could do it, I could do it. But look at that. It's cooked perfect. This is nice and crispy. And I'm gonna take a bite and let you know what I think of it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of tartar just because it's fish. I don't probably need to. Oh my god. It's so hot. Whoa. If you see tears in my eyes, it's tears of pain. That was really hot. I probably should have let it cool off a little bit. But while I've got you, let's try one of these fries. They're a little bit, uh, they're not super crisp, but they do look hand cut here. Mm. They're okay, they're seasoned really nice. I just, I like them crispier than that. Um, I'll probably not need any french fries considering the amount of fish that we're gonna need to get down. Amy, for some reason, she gets so excited and then she puts these giant mouthfuls in and it's always super hot. That's why I let her take the first bite. They gave us this tartar sauce, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of tartar sauce on here. Get that fish. It's probably still gonna be really hot, but I'm gonna go for it. Mm. Oh, that is really good. The breading is, it's not too much. It's not too thick, but it's really good. Not usually, I don't really like fried food too much. I mean, I like it as much as the next guy, but it don't always like me. Um, but I don't know what kind of fish that is. I might have to ask the cook, but it's a big one. I can tell you that. So I don't know if that's normal for, you know, I see a lot of these English restaurants selling fish and chips. And is that normal? Like. You guys tell me if, if going to a like a legit English uh, restaurant means that you get like the world's biggest piece of fish, okay? Then okay, I guess that's that. Let me try these fries. Actually, you know what? I like those fries better because they're not so fried. They almost keep, it almost is like like I'm cheating and like I can eat a whole bunch of these because they're super healthy. Right? Oh my God. I am so full after eating that fish. I, I have no business eating more food, but I'm gonna. Our waiter, he talked us into dessert. We weren't gonna get dessert. And he's like, well, you gotta. I mean, if you're gonna try some legit, like, English food, then you gotta try the Biscoff bomb. Because he goes, we have a lot of British uh, customers that come in and want this. They have two sizes. They have a shareable, which like is for like five people. Okay, I am so full, I can't even eat one for half people. So, but check this out, look at this. What we have here is this is like, this is the Biscoff, I guess. And this is basically a buttery puff pastry filled with gooey Biscoff. And I, I can't really see it here. But, and then it's got ice cream, and that looks like whipped cream, and maybe some chocolate or some toffee. Uh, but here, let me open this up so you can see it. Oh, there it is. There's the gooey biscoff right freaking there. And I don't know what that is, but that looks so fattening and horribly delicious. So I'm gonna put a little bit of ice cream and a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, a little bit of that. All right. So I have no business eating this much sweets, but I'm gonna do it for you guys. Not for me, it's for you. 
Could my head explode again tonight? Because I already blew it up once, but all right. So like everything I've eaten tonight, that's all. That's how I want to eat it all again, ever. So if I'm gonna have an ice cream treat, then it's gotta be a Biscoff bomb because it's the bomb. Mm. You know, I think it was my idea to get dessert because we tried um, their toffee pudding. It was really, really good. I wanted to try the spotted dick because I've never had Spotted Dick before, but he talked us into this one because he said, oh, that's what we're known for. So it's like whipped cream and ice cream. Oh my God. Mm. Okay, so this is warm. Mm. That sauce tastes like, like really creamy peanut butter mixed with some kind of sugary syrup coffee and the I'll, I'll say this the puff pastry is gorgeous like it's fresh from today a la mode. did I just spill some in my lap <laughs> so what did we think of Friar Tux guys I can't say enough good things about this place in fact I would have to say that we've been in Orlando area for a little while now and this is probably in my top two or three favorite restaurants here. This place was awesome. And actually, we ate here, like I said, for breakfast. And then we came back for dinner. And I thought it was the best breakfast I've had in a long time. And you know what? Dinner was even better. The people here are super friendly. Everybody was like, you know, they would explain the menu and they... They gave recommendations and every recommendation was spot on. The presentation of the food was great. The atmosphere here is fun, especially if you like you like Harry Potter. There's all kinds of like Harry Potter flags and that kind of stuff up here. I guess it's kind of cool, right? It's not expensive to come here. And we never had to wait in line. We just walked right in, they served us, we asked for beer, they gave us beer. I mean I mean, guys, it was, it's, it's awesome. If you're going to be in the area, then you need to do yourself a favor and come check out the Friar Tuck. Let's talk about our dinner. Those scotch eggs, those were life-changing. The fish, I mean, you guys saw it. Are you kidding me? It was like, what, that big? It was Alaskan cod. I think it was like the biggest Alaskan cod because, and it was cooked perfect. I'm from the Oregon coast. I've had a lot of fish and chips in my time and let me tell you it was cooked it's my favorite i mean i can't think of a place that i've eaten at that has better fish and chips like, is that an english thing because i see it in english restaurants all the time but i was like oh fish and chips i'm from the oregon coast i know fish and chips apparently no i don't okay i've been humbled tonight because those were amazing and the dessert the biscoff bomb dude it was the bomb. They, they named that correctly because that's straight up what it was. The other day we came here and we had the sticky toffee pudding, which I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I can't say that this food, this dessert was any worse. They were both like, oh, like if I had to raise them up and, and judge them and weigh them out, they're even, they're both so freaking good so like i said i can go on and on and on but oh the beer selection oh forget about it forget about it you want some legit like beers from across the pond they got them they got them and i went through a couple of them so i i definitely sampled it and trust me smithies smithwicks it's the way to go amy had the carlsberg which was good but i don't know the smithies i think was the was the winner for me mmm guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring the bell but most importantly shoot us a comment because we travel all over the country and at some point we're gonna be near a place you've been or live and you probably know the place that we need to go check out 
And if you recommend it, we'll mention you on that video because we're always looking for ideas. Another thing I want to point out too, if you get a chance, go to your local uh, food bank. You know, they take donations, whether it's food, money, you can make a change in someone's life and make yourself feel good too. So until next time guys, see ya.